<gasps> what in the world? Oh yeah, this is a dream. It's a new day. for the team play next month. I saw an ad for a bedroom set. It was a great price. Thank you, God. Bring it on. <laughs> Greg has a spare bedroom? <laughs> Let's go, Pookie. <laughs> this is so cool. I know. I can't wait to get there. So Lori tells me you're getting me a new bedroom set. She did? What? Last night. Talk to Lori all the time. Well, you don't talk to me all the time. Well, Daddy, you know I love you. It's just, well, Lori is a girl and I have female type questions. Whoa, 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 way too much information. All right, listen, I'll see you when you get here, okay, honey? Okay, love you, Daddy. Bye. No, oh, here it is. Full bedroom set. Very reasonable. I just called them. We can pick it up anytime. Outstanding. Where is it? It's in Boggs Hollow. <laughs> But, 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 Boggs Hollow? You know what, man, what is this? Well, it's a little place just north of here. Boggs Hollow. Hey, you all right, buddy? All right, guys, what's up with Boggs Hollow? <gasps> Boggs Hollow? No, it's going to be okay. What is the big deal? Well, it was all about the... No, let me tell you. You always get to tell it, John. Because you don't tell it right. Okay, fine. You tell it. Oh, no, no, no. You no. go ahead. All right, well, guys, will somebody please tell us? Yes, I'm going to tell you. It was about 10 years ago, okay? John and I were home from college. Flo, he was still in high school. And back then, we had this non-Halloween party for the kids. You know Halloween? I've never liked it. I never liked Halloween, even when I was a kid. What is so fun about death and skeletons? No kidding. And can I finish telling you story? Sorry. Okay. Now, Flo and the other kids had to go all the way out in the middle of nowhere and pick up these hay bales that this farmer donated. So. Flo's driving his dad's truck, and he's following all the other kids driving his other truck. I can't believe you just did that to me. What? You just cut me out in the middle of my story. Because you didn't get to the good no, part quick no, enough. No, 
stop doing it when you need to tell everyone you want. Guys. Sorry. Okay, the way I hear it is that Flo broke down and that his truck started doing some really weird things. It was very, very dark and the fog was so thick and heavy. guy comes walking a dog and carrying this lantern. Scared, blow to death, so he started running. in your heart anymore. Flo, you need to face your giant. No. No. No, I'm not going and that's final. Forget it. I can't see. I know. I told Greg to let you sit up front, but no. That's right, Lori. No. You gotta go girl, boy, girl. Go boy, boy, girl. DJ at a local radio station, and he worked the graveyard show. One night, as he was in the middle of playing 100 songs with no commercial interruptions, he was standing outside enjoying the view of a beautiful moon. But in an instant, out of the bushes came a wolf with glowing eyes. And he was coming right at him. As the wolf bared down on him, the DJ screamed and ran. The wolf chased him. DJ was gonna make it back into the radio station, but leaped into the air. <laughs> Not only did he turn into a werewolf, but he became one of the biggest radio personalities of all time. Oh yeah, that was good. The soothing and sounds of the 70s will continue right here on the Wolf Monster KWOLF. Brought to you by the Roadside Cafe, where you never taste a tire truck. Oh, baby!
Steve. I still blow away when you only have one spotlight. I hate my hair. You used to have more than one not too long ago. out of here. You and I just need to give him a little push. No, you are not getting me out of this car. Fine. I'll just get the girls to help me. Okay, guys. All we need is a slight push and we are out of here. Okay, come on, guys. Push, two, three. Go, 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 go. Here you go. Here you go. Yeah. Okay. Are you safe, Will? graphic adaptation of all time. The Kingstone Bible. The beginning. The patriarchs. The Ten Commandments. The judges. The Kings One. The Kings Two. The Exile. The Prophets. 400 silent years. years. Then the Christ. The letters and the revelation. Action. Adventure. Romance. Doctrine. History. The future. Kingstone Bible. Own it today. Uplift TV is excited to offer the world's most complete graphic novel Bible ever, the Kingstone Bible. This three-volume hardcover Kingstone Bible includes the complete graphic versions of the Old and New Testaments. All three volumes are available for a donation of $85. Order online at upliftoffer.com or call toll-free 844-7-UPLIFT. That's 844-787-5438 and online at upliftoffer.com. Well, do you think 
81. I don't know. Why didn't you roll down the window and ask him? I don't even know this guy. You, oh, you big babies. We broke down and we think we might need a tow. Greg, shut up! Hey, it worked. No problem. Is there someone you'd like to call? Yeah. You got a signal out here? Why, yes. Who's your provider? Hey, excuse me! Oh, 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 uh, sorry about that, oh. mister. Hey, do you know where 1313 Hummingbird Lane is? You've got to be kidding me. That's all the way on the other side of the condo. Great. You okay? Yeah, Flo, you don't look so good. I just have to go. Well, we will. Great time to tow truck right now. No, I mean, I have to really go. If there's plenty of trees, go ahead. No way! Well, then you can go to the old man's house. I'm sure he'll let you. Yeah. Did it go All right, the tow truck will be here in about 45 minutes. 45 minutes? I'm hungry. Oh, I don't believe it. They canceled this pizza order for taking so long. <laughs> you want a bit John Stoff there? What? A jackalope. A jackaboo? A jackalope. Part antelope, part jackrabbit. You see, many years ago in Douglas, Wyoming, is where the jackalope was first spotted. And it is said that the cowboys singing to their herds at night have been startled to hear their lonesome melodies repeated from nearby hillsides. This phantom echo comes from the throat of some jackalope. <laughs> Seldom is heard, a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day, really day. <laughs> around noon when Peter went up to the roof to pray. It was here that Peter had a vision about a large sheep containing a mix of unclean animals, representing God's affirmation of the diversity of peoples in the growing church. We had heard that Peter was staying at the house of Simon the Tanner and were instructed by Cornelius the Centurion to go out and find him. While Peter was still thinking about the vision, the Holy Spirit told him to go downstairs because three men were looking for him. Peter went down and told the men that he was the one they were looking for. We then told Peter that Cornelius the Centurion had been told by an angel that Peter would come and see him at his house. So, unbeknown to Peter, Cornelius was already expecting his visit to Caesarea. What happened here was quite unusual. Just the fact that Peter entered the house. Remember that it was against the law for a Jew to associate with or visit a Gentile. Cornelius told Peter how three days earlier he had been praying in his house when an angel had appeared before him. Peter shared with Cornelius his new understanding that God does not show favoritism and is the Lord of all. This was a real turning point. From this point on, the gospel was also given among other people groups, and it all started out with prayer and fasting and a vision. 
I believe it was a trapper named Roy Ball in 1829 that stumbled across this strange specimen. before they come down. enjoyed this episode of Pastor Greg. Now Flo had a fear that he needed to deal with. We all have to face some type of fear in our life. The Bible describes another type of fear, the fear of the Lord, which brings with it many blessings and benefits. In Psalms 111 verse 10 it says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Now this kind of fear is referring to an awe of God and a reverence for His power. There are many other scriptures to visit. Here are just a few. Thanks and we'll see you next time.